all the world. Welcome back to another episode of the Whiskey and Wade Show. We are in association with Dragon Claw Whiskey, the best whiskey of birth. And you know, I am your host, Tommy Mack. And today, we're back with everyone's favorite special guest host, Mr. Shawnee Mack. Mr. Shawnee Mack. And back on the scene. Back on the scene. And, uh, Turns away on his Halley Pops. So, Sean stopped filling in. Back by a popular demand, everyone was saying, like, Tom made it out as if everyone was saying, uh, people want ready, you don't want Sean in. But they wanted me back and Tyrone out and Sean in. So now he's a guy with the want. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, Tyrone's over in Portugal. And it turns out that if you watched last week, he was on hold for. How long was it, Sean, for ages? Jesus, an hour, an hour and a half at least. So it turns out it, it was a scam. Um, and uh, He got rinsed. He got rinsed, so he went and booked it on his own. And somebody, excuse me, should I say her name? She tweeted it. No, I, Go ahead. Call her it. Lisa Donnelly tweeted, anybody know anything about, the, about on the beach? Just emptied my bank account for a holiday. That was cancelled. Swear, if there was no bad luck, I'd have none. And that's who Tom was on the phone to. They got, they got, well, I forget what the total price was, but they got a wee bit of coin out of him just from being on hold. So, so well, it was about 15 quid, I remember. 15 pounds just Look. on hold. And then the, the, the holiday that he booked, the char, the, the tread, to put an order. 250 on top of it so For the same holiday Tyrone get out lucky Lisa Donnelly 15 quid down the tubes yeah, it's a late for lesson kids listen. is on spaghetti here just in like two weeks <laughs> fuck me ravioli and toast <laughs> <laughs> so anyway Shawnee Mac great to have you back you were away when I was no I was away when you were here yep you were in, in Australia the in the Gold Coast Aussie Osborne yep in Australia I brought this back for you but I'm wearing it myself <laughs> and uh you're fighting on the field yep next so last year in the field you were fucking <laughs> a guest on the Whiskey and Wade Live so it was this week you're back in action in the ring so tell us what, what's the details of it Back in action, back in the Falls Park. Last year's failure for the boxing was obviously in the Odyssey Arena. Um, we on that one? Ah, uh, and the, it was in the Zambra and in the Odyssey oh, last aye. year. Oh, I actually broke my hand that fight. That's um, right. I commented on. See that? Mm. That's right. It's great, great commentary <laughs> by you and Paddy Gall. Enjoy that. Um, and then this year we're back in the Falls Park. Hopefully the weather stays dry. Good vibes all around. The Falls Park's always powerful. So it happens. It brings all the locals out just because it's in the park and they're not even boxing fans but then they become boxing fans and then they yeah. love it and they're like oh hey yeah. get it back in the park get it uh, back in the park it's good oh, for the like fan up. base as well for like you say people who aren't boxing fans but they come to watch it because in the park and they go fuck we want Sean McCombs class so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna follow uh, his career now not. and then you, you get a wee bit of believe it or not you get a good growth locally like yeah. See for weeks after fighting Philly, what was on the street? People going, you know, bang bang, every chip kids, not you, yeah. going nuts, and you're just like, well, exactly. And I believe that when in any lane of entertainment, when they're trying to make it, or probably business though, well, no, it's not a business man, but you have to be big locally first. Have to be big in your area. So once you become a household name <clears throat> where you're from, then that'll spread it. So you. We already are his whole name in West Belfast and Greater Belfast. But a big performance here to fail will get the a household name uh, you already are well known in boxing circles in the whole of Ireland. But this will just help the builder profile more. Ah, uh, hundred percent. That's uh especially because I'm uh, like I'm so happy about now. Yeah. Um like Paulie Paulie McCrory's me and I'm Coleman, so we like you're right up there at the peak of the show. Yeah. And, and that's even better again than yeah. what I've previously done on the field. So. Yeah, because them undercard ones, a lot of people 
myself included. The bar. Hitting a bar. The bar talking shit. Oh, fuck. When, fuck when Sean all right come down. Fuck, he's just been missing her. We missed him. him. <laughs> 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 I thought this was the 80s night. Uh, <laughs> 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 we got the blasting. <laughs> then you, put, the you go for an hour's <laughs> while after the hour's ring. Oh, yeah, mate, you were brilliant and all that. <laughs> you don't even watch it. Yeah, yeah, I had seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mate, your back's fucking too power, I'm telling you. You're going places. Far better on the back foot. Listen, I like you. Listen, you control the reins. Listen, stick to it, run. Stick to it, run. Stick to it, stick to it. Want to hear it again? Change the subject real quick. Want to hear it again? Oh, fuck. But see the same net as the fits. And supporting. My eat partner in the in the Tadnish. So I think I'm doing fifteen to twenty minutes. I'm gonna go up and do a wee head ten and say, right, lads, I'm away. Run around the park. Shoulder, <laughs> bump, bump. You're gonna get slapped on the wrist from Mickey. Oh no, nah, I'm only joking. I'll be here. I'll be my full plan. Just turn on himself. Only only joking. Only messing. I'm not like that. No, well, let's do that full 20. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's, the good thing about you being up the bill, I'll be able to come around. No, oh, you'll, you'll not miss it. Like, so. I'll probably be... I'll, I'll, be, I'll be doing a reverse now for, for Mickey Bartlett. I'll be missing his bit and going, Mickey, you were brilliant. I didn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and or something awesome. else. I was I, taking notes. <laughs> what was that bit you said at the start? Getting no. the telescope. Oh, that was funny <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was a ballad. <laughs> Oh, what fuck? What about uh, David Kelly? David Kelly retired from the. Did he? I didn't even know what. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised because he hasn't usually sends me a message saying Sean gives a call when they're free, DK. Yeah. And then um, get a so, chat about the old boxing. So. David David Kelly, for the viewers who don't know, has been, I would say, the number one boxing writer for oh, Belfast. Most honestly, for the Telegraph. From, from my start of boxing for the Telegraph. Followed by the, a career done. Sunday Life, he does a Sunday Life too, doesn't he? The, the, that is the Telegraph oh, as well, isn't it? Oh, I should read the Sunday Life of Sports Journal. Oh, yeah. does, so, used to do it with Frontner for a yeah. lot of years. Like. So, uh, definitely want to say, enjoy your retirement, David. Thanks for support over the years. And uh, I wonder if he's going to start writing the F. He's going oh, to do the write-ups. Bring back Frankie McCourt. Bring him back. <laughs> Frank a tank. Frank a tank. Man. Oh, so. man, there's, there's a vacancy or any way, like. Sean, are you good at writing? Any? No. <laughs> Can't even spell my own name, Tony. Wow. How do you spell Sean? There's a vacancy. Yes. The I'm at the high school. <laughs> I'm not good at spelling. I know. The application to be fair. So did Sean. I'm at the high school, no. What one do you go to? I went to Bond School, so they would give. And then oh, I went okay. to college at first year. Right. But I, I stayed right at the A-level, like. Should like, we give, I will go, I will go, I will give. Tommy's actually <laughs> a good girl, go, like. Couple of he is. Couple of uh, he, he's, he has a good memory, so if you tell him something, he remembers it. And then and for like a couple of months, and then he texts you about three or four months later. And I was like, Sean, what the hell do you say? Yes. <laughs> How do you say your man loves it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's the one you always get off your mates. How do you say it? Big Victor. How do you say yes? Like, Big Victor just seen my mate Victor. You tell him something. How do you say yes? You tell him it. He takes about ten times and he looks at you, yeah, that's not going on. How do you say your man loves it? Um, that's killed. It. It's Brad. It's Brad Awami. It's Brad Awami. It's Brad Awami. That's why I don't. See, like, Big when we run out. Well, I call Lilo, man. I want to go to bed, man. He asked him for that. So he asked everyone. Oh, well, I call Lilo, man. Bird goes, nah. <laughs> You're rotten. She spoke Irish. We fuck with him. We're, remember we were doing all videos, no? So I was going, hey, Sean, how do you say something? He was telling me and I was going, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and like, in Irish, people thought I was a proper no, gale going. Go. I was out one day, so I started talking to him, and I went, what? Right. Da, 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 da. What are you saying? <laughs> and he was going, ah, blah, blah, blah. What, what's going on here? <laughs> and he went, do not speak Irish. And I thought, oh, right, yeah, why, why, yeah. <laughs> they start talking, and I go, oh, Magaloy, Magaloy, and then you have to go here slant. That happened to me. For me, my idea. That happened to me. Before, um, I used to work for Radio Falta, and um, now it's flat out, no trying to get, like, interviews and stuff, but I was, like, um, my thing was I was trying to, like, get, like, music acts yeah. that uh. could speak Irish. 
and they were few and far between. You were only obviously just getting all the trad ones. Uh, but I was trying to do something a wee bit different. Out, change it a wee bit. Yeah, uh, and um, and I saw that like that band picture this. I don't know if you know. No, uh, the I that so. song uh, "Take My Hand" and all. But they done a version of that in Irish. Oh right, right up from here. It, they're from here. They're from Dublin or something. Uh, from Dublin. But um, I saw they done that, and I was like, oh fuck, they obviously speak Irish. I was like, see next time they come to Belfast, I'm gonna try and like no, get an hard. interview with them. I was like, that'll look good on us. And I got the interview, and I was all buzz. I, I was all biz, like fucking getting it. And uh, they set it up for us to meet up with them in the Europa. And I went down to do the interview, and I walked in their room. And I was like, well, lads, Dan Craig, so like Sean Scale, and I like started speaking in Irish to them, and just went, oh, I'm so sorry, we don't actually speak Irish. I was like, what about the wee song? And then they were like, that nah, the they just fed us the lane, like, lane right. by lane. The same oh, as that. Same as it. Right. I was like, fuck sick. I was, I was, I thought you were on the one. I thought you were on the one. Fuck sick. I think, uh, my, my, I actually do have a couple of fuck of it, but I couldn't, like, do the interviews or anything. And there was this campaign a couple of years ago, but I am Irish for, for black and Irish people. Irish, uh, the blurry uh, thing. Irish. And, and they wanted you know, like to bring it to the forefront because loads of mixed Irish people. The question is like, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Belfast. No, where are you really where are you from? Really from uh. So like it was doing, it was doing, it's doing our heads in as a community. I <laughs> say <laughs> <laughs> So there was like we're Irish and you know like we're as Irish as everyone else. And uh, your woman phoned me and she was like, uh, would you be able to do an interview? Ask Gilga. Um, I can't. Do, I can't I'm not free. <laughs> I'm training. Is <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, do you know any any black people who can speak Irish in Belfast who can do it? And I, uh, I did. I know no fell. And I was like, oh, I we made Martin. That's that's an thing. Any any black Irish people, any mixed race Irish Catholics, nine times out of ten they're gonna be called Martin. <laughs> Do you know why? Because <laughs> Saint Martin, uh, the black saint. <laughs> so look at Brad and you're saying your you don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> you're making them up. No, I say, listen, how many black guys people do you know apart from me? Martin. Martin. Oh, I'm Martin. What's his dad called? Martin. Martin. <laughs> sure, that's, a, that's a true story. Like. That's so, a fair, fair point. But that, that is why Saint Martin. And uh, so I phone and I say, Marty. Uh, the ones who do uh, do an interview in Irish he's like oh, I know sweat and I kept phoning him and he, he won't do it but he he can't actually speak like he just wasn't up for public speaking in the oh, it's like, come out of comfort zone a wee bit like it's, it's a wee bit like it's, it's even like people saying to me like, about doing stand up oh, it must be nerve wracking that must be but it's it's definitely not there's, there's not more nerve wracking for me Maybe not no wrecking, but it makes you more anxious than boxing. Like that's nah. a serious, like worry for me. Like Jesus, what we get Because you can get hurt. Yeah, because you, you can get, get hurt. hurt. You can't and then get there's hurt. There's embarrassment. There's embarrassment. Like, yeah. like on the stage, you can't like. All right, I can't say it because I've never done it, but I've like I've spoke openly. I've done yeah, your yeah. live podcast, and you can just be yourself and talk. Seeing people have a few pints in them, and they're already laugh. They're going yeah, to laugh. They're going to laugh. Regardless. Yeah. And if the, if they don't. So what? Oh, like, keep trying. Keep plugging away. Let's keep plugging like, away. If, 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 if it was going bad, you could just go, right, thanks very much, that's me, and then, like, leave. You don't have to oh, subject yourself. Do you to have anything. a wee paint or two? You're common nerves. You can't have two paints. <laughs> yeah, in there, I know. Is it sort of like, as well, is that that's what you're known for? That's what you're meant to be good at? Uh, so if yeah. you don't perform, it's like, uh, you know. Yeah, it's just... Head. There's just so many variables that make me. I don't think all boxers are the same, but well, I can't speak for all boxers. I know everyone gets nervous before the fights, but for me, like this, fuck me, I've sacrificed everything and so much pressure on myself. Like, especially the big fights, the wee, the wee fights really make me nervous because if if, if you can be a bad rest shape, you're back like, in the pack order, like. Mm-hmm. And then and if nothing to lose, you go in there like yeah, the underdog. You're the underdog. It's a gift. Yeah. It's, it's so it's easy. Like you, I don't really, I don't get any pressure anymore. Really, I don't give a fuck like anymore. I've got the season now. Yeah. Just I'm curly. I think it's making me perform better. Yeah. Just like, you're free. Do yeah. not give a fuck. 
Like, yeah. hey, like, see, I think that's where it comes that, from. That, that, like recently, but yeah. just it does it just makes things so much easier. Like, like I, that attitude is what I'm bringing into the comedy as well, and then like my comedy stuff is 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 fresh as well because over here in Belfast or in the north. The main subject is Catholics and Protestants. Catholics and Protestants, all the fucking differences, uh-huh. all sectarian stuff. And then my stuff is like, but Belfast, but from an ethnic minority's perspective. But Toron, which is fresh, but Toron texted me the other day and he was like, there's some guy, Peter something, I can't remember his name. Uh, so have you ever heard him? He's a Belfast comedian. Uh, black guy doing loads of similar material to you. I was like, fuck, never heard him. So I put his name in the in the Google and it was an Indian fella. And I text back, I was like, Tom, that guy's Indian. No, I went, Tom, that guy's not black. He texted me back, let's not get technical. But your man, he is funny, but he's Indian and he's talking about growing up his dad came here from India and he's not Catholic or Protestant <clears throat> and so he moved to the Catholic area because the curb stones were pla- painted green, white, and orange. I see and he the ran, Indian oh, there's an Indian flag. They must want us to live here. So he uh, ended up... But, fair enough. <laughs> that's not going to tackle. What's it? How much tackle uh-huh. can he get? Working in... I started working in... in Jen's yeah. gym in uh-huh. Trail. So early starts, early mornings. Early mornings, no need to get early night. What's the crack weird, Jim? Busy. Uh, this time of year, I think it's all quiet for uh, for everyone at the minute. Like, the industry's quiet, quieter, because it's, 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 it's a holiday, it's holiday seasons and, and stuff like that. But all in all, great, can't complain. Um, as you say, early starts. I was up this morning myself, 5 a.m., in the gym for 6. Took three boxing classes, jumped in the car, drove straight to Dublin. 12 rounds, training, back up the road, back in the gym again the night, 5 p.m., 6 p.m., and then I'm here tonight. Unreal. Dedication, thrown, you gotta go, lad. <laughs> <laughs> stay where you're at, stay where you're at. We don't need you anymore, That's right? It. We'll get you on every so often. <laughs> see, see a few things you've said about the dedication and all. Like, for years, you've had to put in the boxing and stuff. So, like, would you two have been away together? Oh, like, I, from when oh, you were young fuck, and all, we lived together and fought on the ice team like, for about six years, four years, five years. Would you, since have instead of like when other ones in your year would have been going away to Guild Talk and stuff, would you? Oh, no, been... none of that. It's like when I was when I was a kid, what is it, first or third year on Irish? So when the Guild Talk was on in the first year, I was. I was still had a problem. I was still, I was still wet in the bed, so I didn't want, I didn't want to, didn't want to risk it, risk it, because you'd be finished, you'd be fucking finished first year, <laughs> first year you're good. <laughs> Short lived <laughs> career. You know what I mean? <laughs> the, the the worst thing you can be in first year is a frigid, and uh, that would have topped the best. Like the frigids would have been, would have been calling. Uh, <laughs> they fucking best of the fridge is going on a break. I was going to hear fucking. So, uh, but then the next the next couple of years, in, it was there as fuck as well. Uh, no, it was there to go. Like, uh, I got so my man dad and have no, a look at the So, I think I thought my, my granny and grandma said, Sure, why if you had the bed? But really, as an excuse, because uh, they want to forget the money. Right <laughs> uh, um, but, uh, I'm a, I'm, how many years? Am I a year or two? Years, two years. Probably, uh, so, on the trips that I would have went on, I would like Sean wouldn't have been that age yet. So we then, and not Plus until pass. senior, uh-huh. then we we started going away with each other. And uh, once like Sean's story is friggin', it's a great one because it's like a true underdog story. You know, when you get with the the national team, the the faces kind of stay the same, the ones and twos, and then Sean and another came and beat. The one and the two in the same championship and it's like fuck he's the Irish champion now and oh, so it's from that we like... just like nobody expected it and then uh that was it then i was like the the mother hen of the wee gang in the high performance right. snow when people mm-hmm. come down and uh 
I was like, right, Sean's come down with us. No, the party used to drive. Imagine, like, I didn't even drive and I'm just calling All the, the shots. So he's like, right, party here, Sean's come down with us some more. He's like, is he all right? And it's has been, oh, 100%. And then that was it then. Um, me and Sean roomed with each other, went around the world. And it was fucking, it was good times. Good times. Good, good times. Good crack. Like, you look back on them. At the time, you're going, fuck, this is doing my own shit. There's good wee moments, you think at the time, but then seeing you look back, you go, that was actually fucking powerful. You were, wasn't a worry in the world, like, no, no, literally was wasn't. What was, was the most obscure country you said boxed in? Fuck. Do you know what? Did you pull out some random names every now I don't know. Then? Like, see <coughs> the countries that you go to? You go to them, and then it's the fucking shittest part of them. Uh, so when we went to, we went to Kazakhstan, and... We went to Kazakhstan twice, but the first time we went, the first time we stayed in that hotel. In the hotel, which was, it was wasn't that it wasn't bad. Because like, it, it wasn't too strict. The camp yeah. wasn't too strict. It was like a pre-camp. Like a, yeah, yeah. So we just went there for sparring after the senior championships, get us ready for the year, and and sort of break us on as a new team because it was there was a couple of new, mm. new faces on the team. So we done that for two weeks, and it was it was I'm all sure, right. It was good work, yeah. Food and all was good. Then we went. Later at the year in September, it was a March we went, and it, like over we two weeks, the first week we went, it was fucking, snow, it was ice, yeah. blocks of ice, big blocks of ice all along the road. It was freezing, and the second week we went, we were running our top off, it was like weird. it was roasting twenty one degrees, fucking roasting hot. In March we were like, this is fucking weird. Last week it was freezing, like zero temperatures, and now it's like twenty one degrees. And then we went again in September. It was the same thing. We were lying yeah. outside, sunbathing on September, roasting then. And, and, and with the this time we stayed in these wee huts, we burnt these fucking log cabins. With all these flares. Flares everywhere. Oh, so we had all these like, sticky tape hanging from the ceiling all over the log cabin. There was just flares everywhere. And every day you pick up one of them things and we sticky. Uh, and you want to see flies on. And like, <clears throat> and the food was rotten. Nah, the food was shit. And <clears throat> I don't know why the lads done this. Uh, but they all got, went upstairs and I had to sleep downstairs on my own. <laughs> I was like, I, there was like patrol every night. You're <laughs> fucking oh, every night. Yeah, every night, I never even slept. <laughs> Your mom with a flag stage. You never slept for two weeks. <laughs> and then one night, we were watching movies every night. We watched me scurry one night. It was me. It was bad enough. <laughs> every night. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> every fucking, every so often, we were all down upstairs. It was like, I think it was like six or seven in your room. Like a, mm-hmm. a cabin. Tommy's downstairs, we were all, all upstairs, all like, in this like near the same room. Um and every like every soon again <laughs> you just hear Tommy, lads, is there anyone awake? Fred's <laughs> 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 black <laughs> Fred's like two in the morning, lads, is there any here lads? <laughs> it was all, <laughs> and we were going to Tommy, what do you fuck up? He's going, no lads I hear something. It's like it was like it was like a film. <laughs> The big light just coming through your window. There's no <laughs> curtains or anything. But they're all upstairs. If, any, if anybody had came in, I was gone first. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know. Like, it was brutal. In, in true horror films. <laughs> in true horror films. Black guy <laughs> goes first. <laughs> get, <laughs> get him, get him. So <laughs> I was, you know, all my nerves were wrecked. <laughs> Can't get up in the morning. This thing, <laughs> used to get you up first thing for the way to check. No, I said, fuck, it That's why I had a rough night. <laughs> But uh, oh, Kazakhstan was brutal, and then <coughs> I went back as a pro, mm-hmm. and I swear to God, it's the best trip I ever went on as boxing. Like it was all, it was like the red side. Like there's so much money in Kazakhstan. Oh. All the buildings all bro- built up, the restaurants were all great. Every it was just it was unreal. Mm. And then Ukraine, I know Ukraine's worse, like, like in a war now, but. When we went, yes, that was in a war. I don't know. Fuck, see where we stayed. Like, can't get much worse. Fuck it. Oh, it's fucking terrible. It was the worst. It was brutal. That's the worst I've ever been. Like, the food was fucking stinking. We we actually brought a load of like, like the worst nutrition ever, like pot no. noodles and all with us. Biscuits, and fucking biscuits. Everything. Brought all our own stuff. Mm-hmm. And the food over was like you're getting this big like bowl with like jelly. It was well, like jelly with fish inside. Fish inside. And yeah, did it. I was like, "What the fuck is going on here?" Like, fucking Toronto. Did you like mashed potatoes? Oh, it was worse than that. Was, I know. It was. Actually I was like, good. the mashed potatoes was just like a big, like just it was water. Your bowl was like it was like a potato, like mashed so much with fucking water. 
It was just water at the bottom mm. of the potatoes, and I was like, "Get off. Remember at the um run used to do like through like a like a big forest. That was annoying. I was panicking because oh, all the lads were all brilliant runners, and I was like at the back. <laughs> just like the I back. was like, "Fuck sake!" And remember I had video. Uh, it was a sick video when we were kids. Two two men and a hammer, oh, that's right. and it was in Ukraine, mm. and these two young kids beat someone to death with a hammer. And they videoed it and put it online. Can you remember it? Uh, I remember that. So I was just like thinking about that. I'm going to get dragged in here. Lads, wait! Wait! <laughs> and oh, fuck. I'm, like, I can't do the, the distance run. And they were all like, Sean's a brilliant runner. He's like a gazelle flipping, oh, running, yeah. running through the Ukrainian woods. It's brutal. Oh, I was, was roughly rough. No, no Wi Fi. So it was like, there was other teams there, Armenia. Fucking Turkey, whatever, all different nations in this training camp, Ukraine, fucking all these different nations. And you had to share a lobby with all these different fucking countries all lingering about this lobby, just sitting on top of each other, just to, to just get Wi Fi. And the signal was shit. So wow. we were just sitting there fucking melted all day, every day. Like, it was crap. Well, it was crap. But see, nowhere was good. Uh, I was probably the only good place where we went. Belarus. Minsk, yeah. Minsk was brilliant. And as as Belarus would be do people go where on holiday? Not it really. looks like a holiday uh, spot. It looks like it when we were, it was good. The city, the we were in the right in the city, big casinos and like people big buildings and like there was so much going McDonald's on, all beer and gardens, beer all gardens. And yeah. we we talk about this on the live with me and Sean. Well, when we went out early in the I got beaten the quarters. Both of us got beaten the quarters, didn't I we? I got beaten the last sixteen. And uh so then we would just go and just have a few beer out in the, out in the, the beer gardens. But it was like, it was like being in America or something because uh -huh. people just started rollerblading roller and skating and, and other people basketball. playing basketball. There was so much going on. Like a big TV screen right up the corner. And Sean just sitting there. One thirty a pint. One, one pound thirty a pint it worked out. We were just sitting there slugging fucking cold beer. Like. It was great and the beer was great. It was great. So it was fucking, that's, that's a good, that, that was a good, we, a good spot. But that's what I mean, see, a lot of times when we go away for the training camps, you're staying in the arsehole in the worst shitholes, and they bring you to the major competition, and you're staying in the top hotel, and you're sort of, like, central. So it, it's a wee bit better, even in Kazakhstan and stuff like that, you were brought in. Azerbaijan, we went to Azerbaijan, oh, and yeah, it was, like, we stayed, it was shithole where we went, but then I went again for the European Games in the village, and it was just unbelievable. Slap by in the middle, like the food was unbelievable. It was probably one of the best places I've been, you know what I mean? So it just yeah. depends on what party you come to. Because there's like. money in Azerbaijan uh -huh. too. So I think boxing, they try and do stuff on the cheap amateur boxing. And uh, I think shit host risk for the yeah. camps. Like, you see, you, when you take about five flights to get their destination as well. When you go to a, see, when you go to major competitions, you don't have to, like, it's a feather, it's the feather's hotel. So yeah. everyone stays in the one hotel, so we, they can't hold back on costs and be like, oh, we'll stay down the road here, we shit hold. You know what yeah. I mean? So you have to, have, have, to, to has, it have to fork it out. So, mm. so whenever they, they don't have to fork it out, they fucking don't, put it yeah. that way. When we were in Kazakhstan, man, we played, it was Ireland versus Kazakhstan, oh, big, big match, <laughs> on real football. Fucking. Did we win? We did, we got stuffed. Fucking <laughs> shit. Shit. good football, I think. We got stuffed. Oh, Sean's going to have him. Nah. See, Borat, Borat is bombed in Kazakhstan. Nah, he's bombed. 100%. Nah, I haven't done off front. Never fucking walked near me. He came back once. He just stood up or poaching. Every time I got the ball, fucking whacked it wave. I said, what are you even doing up there? See if it was a real match. He, was, he wasn't even on side once. Never mind off side. He just stood in there. He was talking... To the fucking goalkeeper or team, he stood there talking. Every time we got the ball, put up to him, Wade. Wade. Fucking shit. Wade ball. Wade ball. Good stuff. But it was, it was, it is a good old, old I think the friggin', even see now, you know Joe Joyce, the Harriet? <laughs> so I remember we went the one year, my, our last, well, my last year as an amateur, the words and Europeans were on the same year, which never happens. So we were bumping in the training camps. You bump into all the same people all the time. But at the end of the competitions, all the countries, not like the last day, if you go to the local night club, every boxer from all around the world is all in these night clubs, you know, having, having, enjoying themselves. Because yeah, there's a lot of pressure, all the camps and all oh, that shit. And uh, in Belarus, 
So I'm like, I'm up one of the other countries. Yeah, I was talking to your brother. He went, I haven't got any brothers. No, your brother. Yeah, he's very good. I said, who are you talking about? And then Joe Joyce walked past. There he is. I said, oh, fuck. Hey, Joe. <laughs> hey, See, Joe. now they stay. People come up to me and say, hey, are you Joe Joyce? I always just say yeah. Just say yes. <laughs> get a photo of him, get out and Peggy. I was down at, at Mark's show last week in the in the Europa. Some fella from Dublin sitting behind me, and uh, there was a clash of heads. So there was a wee bit of confusion of well, where it's uh, gonna go. Like, is it, does it go to points or who wins and all this shit? And the 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 baiting going on behind me was, it was I just couldn't take it anymore because they were just going around in circles. So I just turned around, and lads, just. It's gonna go to points. It was the accidental clash, but I think Colin Murphy's got it. He's well in front. But oh yeah, sound. Can I ask you? Are you Joe Joyce? <laughs> nice sound. Oh, I. I knew it. I didn't want to say anything. Can I get a picture with you? He's like, oh, I go for it. Tag me. I got a full hell no. He's okay. probably down in, in Dublin. So I remember, I met Joe Joyce in Belfast. I remember Joe Joyce. Okay, wake me up. See, uh. Years ago, me and Amy went out on a date, and there were what's uh, is it Lockstack or oh, or, or Snatch were um, what do you call them? Uh, I'm not the kind of pussy to drink it. No, the wee, he's the wee black leader of the yard, oh, he has yeah, like a yeah. wee jerry curl. Um, it's just some kind of joke that white cunts get the black cunts don't. What do you call him? And, it's it's last time. It's the last time. It's not that. Uh, it's not. So uh, he was sit- the, the this guy who's acting, and do you know what's mad? See if it had been any uh, any other race had went. That's a fucking double him. You'd go. He's a racist for him. Yeah, that's him. That's definitely him. And I kept looking. He was looking over me, and he was he nodded. And I went, fuck. That's definitely him. So I went over and I went, <laughs> hey. Are you uh, at a at a lock stop? And he went. He had a London accent. Hold on, I'm gonna have to Google this. It's doing my it's doing my head. Just come on here. Look, you haven't had your budget. <laughs> oh, sick. Rory Breaker. Oh. Red. So speaking of Rory at a lock stop, he went. No, mate, that's not me. And started laughing. So I went. It's definitely him. He's trying to be incognito. Uh. You don't want to say anything. <laughs> and then I, <laughs> and I love the hymn with me. It's him. I told you it was him. He's an absolute button for him. And then <laughs> so me and him had then started dancing all and he come over and he's like start talking to me. And uh He's like here, Joe Joyce asked me. Joe Joyce I said, So what are you doing over here? Me and him start talking. He says, uh a girl I want this girl of a school from here. And we're reconnecting on Facebook, so we're all having like a reunion. And I went, oh, right. And he was with an R girl from London. And uh, so they introduced me and Amy. And uh, I says, that's Fast Blackwood, isn't it? And she was like, yeah, yeah. He says it's not, but it's him, it's him, it's him. I went, knew it, knew it. He's got photos now. I was putting them up on Instagram, putting them on Twitter. Brilliant to meet Fast Black with it on real. He's talking like this. And then my dad loved loved that character and I sent him the wrong Matt Roy Breaker to <laughs> in uh in in what do you call that place where Jim Webb does the door? Hooker's Wharf. No Hooker's Wharf, uh, Northern Wig. The Northern Wig. Uh, my dad's buzzing and then I had it, I'd done like a couple of posts saying fucking oh, can't believe it, man. And then my dad put up a post of the picture I sent him. I can't believe my son, Matt Rory Breaker. Unbelievable. I'm so jealous. And Vast Blackwood, the real guy, <laughs> wrote back to him. St- uh, I can't believe someone is pretending to be me. That is not me in capital letters. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, shit, God. Be- See your mom, like your mom gave me his number and all, and texted me. I saved the vast black one. I was, I was texting. Any, any, any fucking rolls gone. 
You know, I'm ready to hold this. Shit. I'm ready to go. It was going on. No, you're the man. You're the man to sort me out. That's what he said. I said, like, oh, stop being so humble. This day, I want to get in the <laughs> This day, I turn it into some random, some Fuck random me. London guy. Fucking okay, hell. It's like RD. He just froze me. And the other hall, I was fighting. In the other hall, next thing, the next morning, I went for free beer. Next morning, two photos, two different people. Bang, tagged me on a photo. Great to meet the champ last night. I look, click on. That's not me. That's my bro. Our day on the taking photos of people. That's not me. That's fucking rocket. Hey, <laughs> say, lads. That's not me. That's my bro. You rocket the rope back. Ha ha ha. No way. Fuck's sake. What's the crack with him? We've tried to get him on the show a couple of times. He won't do. He won't, he won't come on. Everyone wants to hear the the madness. He's like a legendary figure in West Belfast. There's only one way to witness it. Just go out with him for a beer. Yeah. He's fucking nuts. He's mad. He's like, Friggin' at my wedding, my family still talk about it this day. <laughs> oh, I got your friend, the, the one who was doing the headstands. Oh, ah, yeah, that's the right. Headstands. That's what you're guaranteed. They, they don't want to crack up with these watches. <laughs> you're guaranteed to see headstands. They heard the car parked fin. What'd you say? What's that? What's that? What's that? <laughs> so he's fading in the street. He's facing boxes. Aww. Fucking job of heading. Like, what? I love it. He's like, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he shuffle. He says it happens on. <laughs> it's unreal. It's unreal. Fuck. So, who do you think's the, the better boxer? Who's the best boxer in the family? Me, obviously. Fuck, I've achieved the most. Like, Dave was probably better at a certain age than I was. He probably developed quicker than I did. Like, as a kid, he was obviously from boy two, I think, right up to youth two, Irish champion, oh, right three. Yeah. He, he was obviously fucking class at that age. But loads of people are class at that age, and then yeah. they turn the ship when they get the senior. Yeah. What happened to Dave was, when he, he turned 18, he was sort of in the senior role, he, he was working full, near enough full time for Phoenix. Yeah, he's hard. And the money was coming in, and he just didn't, he fully loved it, really. Yeah. You know, he never drank or anything as well. Nah, he never drank. He was like 20 or 21. Worst thing ever happened. West Belfast. Man, it's it's mad that like, he, he made it that far. You get through the hard part. I know. Oh, gee, I was on the <laughs> roof when I was 13. My first time I got caught drinking, someone turned at me in RD, fucking found out. He was on the road turf like my dad, you know what I mean, as a brewer. Mm. But he, he wouldn't allow me to drink, wouldn't allow me to do nothing, wouldn't even allow me near certain people on turf. <clears throat> He was on the boat, fuck, and everyone afraid of him in turf. And then someone told him I was black on Easter Sunday, and he fucking flying about in his wee Phoenix fan, looking everywhere. Got me, punched the fucking head clean <laughs> off me, bothered me. So I hey, fucking damn it, dad. Put me in, fucked me in the bed, I was fucking crying as it. Next morning, I got up, he squeezed, he told me that. I was drowned for a good month, for fuck's sake. My dad didn't even touch me, like, he just went, You're not going to cross that door. Didn't let me out for about a month, fall, race through the ring. And my man fucking was going ballistic. And then every time after that, RD was on the lookout for me. Fucking oh, yeah. every weekend, checking at me, bro. He was, I was going, fuck off, my mates. <laughs> and he was running about looking at me everywhere. You better not be fucking drinking. Let me smell your breath now. Let me smell your breath. And I was going, fuck off. You know what I mean? I remember what you were saying to me about <laughs> he scooped you drinking and you were like, fuck, I'm sorry. And he slapped the head, you know, and I was like, well, you got to get a drink. And he was like, not tell me, and you didn't tell him. So he just he m- it made me. it up in his mind. It was well, such and like such. Someone, someone, someone I ran a bit before we got I ran a bit of time, told him who it was. It was English Rob. And it was English Rob who got me a drink, like, but I never told Dave yet, because I'm not a tout. <laughs> but I thought I'd be in Fort Lake. And then a wee girl I ran a bit with, RD and her, her brother, like best mates, but she always fucking liked RD and I like loved him anyway, just because he was always in her house. She told Dave it was, got us a drink. Dave went down, English Rob, and there's another fella called Tony Bendinac, but he's like, he drinks the Green Hut, Tony Bendinac, and he's uh, he's English as well, but RD doesn't know who English Rob is, but he knows who Tony Bendinac is, and he's a Millwall fan, and he walks right turf, Super Millwall for me then, Super Millwall. So everyone knows who Tony Bendinac is, yeah. he has an English accent. So our Dave just went, what? How am I going to keep his fucking head on? So Dave flew down, fucking got Tony Bendinac and fucking battered him. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then no one knew what was going on. So our Dave didn't ask questions, he just hits first, you know what I mean? So he went down to fucking Green Hut, battered Tony Bendinac. <laughs> Fair enough, it wasn't even him. He was like, what the fuck? The so our Dave was like, hell. it's only English person I know, English Tony Bendinac. I thought it's the one about no. And, and then whoever it was that heard it said, it was English Rob. 
And Dave's like, who the fuck's going to be robbing him? And he lives in Gortonona. So Dave went up and battered him too, yeah. <laughs> so um, I was grounded for a month, but I got out a week later because my man and dad were going to TK1 and then no one to me. So I got to wear my Easter Monday clothes a week later and I was loving the brand new clothes. My dad says, you'll be out, you check in on the R I was like, right, sweet. I was ready to go out, I was loving it. It was such a day, it was, the weather was great. Now I walked down, I locked. I, all the lads were all standing top of Gordon morning at the steps. I locked her er, English roll with a right black eye. I was like, you fucking tub. He's like, what are you on about, you fucking spastic? I still to this day didn't know the date him. He's like, yeah, you were fucking rat. And he's like, who's a rat? Fuck off, true. What's your problem? And then he's like, you fucking told your brother I got you drink. He's like, I didn't tell my brother anything, you fucking blue. He's like, yes, you fucking dead. How the fuck did he know when I hit you? He's like, fuck. I didn't even know he hit you until now, so where you go? <laughs> And then that's the big black eye, and he was fucking. So he's run the bed, fucking bad, and everyone for Nam, for fuck's sake. He had your best interest at heart. I know, sure listen. Fuck me. Well, that's funny, like, <laughs> just the hair of English accent. <laughs> so he walks in the bar. All right, D. Crack. Oh, I'm 20 <laughs> pounds, I can cut my head. Let's go home, mate. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm eating here straight in his neck for me. Tell me, he walks about me. like a fucking football hooligan. No, Tony, he used to support <laughs> Super, <laughs> Super Mobile, he's a Mobile fan. And he's running about black, super mellow from it then, super mellow, he walks about. <laughs> they, they got him, fucking if they had him. Fuck <laughs> shit, for them. Did you ever go to a green hut before? No, no, I've never been. Sean brought me and I never looked back. I haven't been in a couple of years, like, but it, it was great. It was great. I always just heard about it and I was like, you no, know, I remember saying the, I went up to a green hut here with Sean. Are you serious, a green hut? Ran in and had a lot of time. And then we great just kept going back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's normal. It's it's normal. It's normal. I'm surprised. I've never been in it. Like, cause I'm grouchy. Like, oh, oh, it's only a wee small spot. It's not it's much bigger in this great, room. Great spot. Like, you wee pool table, jukebox, snooker table. Mm. The pants are great. The pants are nice. nice. Brad, like. Brad Pitt was up in it. True story. Aye, for just getting to getting a is he's a method actor trying to get the Belfast accent. Then, but uh, he went up the green hut to get a Belfast accent and they ended up going, have any dogs? <laughs> I know. Who, who, was, it? who was he oh, talking to? Probably green hut was he in. Was he probably Tony Benny Mac. Fuck's sake. Oh, it's a great spot. Like, there's fucking, it's, it's just, it's run by a committee. So it, it's, when you, there's a lot of people who's barred from it and then they've just, they've, if one person in the committee doesn't like you, you have no chance. You know what way? Like it's not like even if you haven't done something wrong, a committee meeting every week. My R. Stephen, for example, my cousin, he's in jail now. He fucking tortures Free me Steven. every single day. It rings me or every day when I come home from Dublin, it rings me and it's the same number five 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 oh finishes and oh, and he was rapping down the phone like Tupac. He loves it, but he get bored anyway because he fucking whacked a fucking jukebox with pool cue. He get bored. He for me. Uh, he's like, no. this was like eight months later. He's like, oh, I'm going to go down the hut here. He's like, serious? Nah, don't go to the hut. Don't go to the hut. Man, I'm going down the hut for a pint. Why was wrong? I was, I'm bored. I'm actually meant to be getting there next week. I've got a committee meeting. <laughs> he's like, what? <laughs> he's fucking nuts. I was I thought, what? Fucking Mary Tooth's got me a committee meeting. I have to go down next week. She says I'll be all right to get in next week. Just wait the next week. I mean, no, I'm going down now. And I fucking down for a pint. I came a snicker. He's like, nah. And he's like, what are you on about a committee meeting? He was, a committee meeting. <laughs> he's like, a fucking committee meeting. He's like, a committee meeting. I've got a committee meeting. One of them. He's going, this guy's fucking nuts. He's nuts. He's going, what are you on about a committee meeting? He's like, oh, fuck, I'm a bar for eight months. I've got a committee meeting. Like, what the fuck's a committee meeting for? What's I got to do with the green hut? He's like, oh, fuck. I mean, a committee meeting. No, I mean, oh, a committee meeting. Brooke. Oh, I fuck you. <laughs> Fucking hell, I can't look clearly call it. Alex. Fuck <laughs> shit. I need them to get back in their green hut. I was like, what are you talking about, you fucking rocket? Oh. And then, like, I still, this day, I think he's still bored. It was years ago, like, he's just, he's not getting any, he's just donations. I'll tell you what, Sean, just to go back, talking about getting bored, when I, last time you were here, I was in your old stamp brand. Stamp brand? <laughs> like I'm turning into your stain. The Clementine meeting in the stamp brand. <laughs> Well, uh, you're you're still bored out of fucking surfers, Annie. Bored? Well, you know what? I actually asked someone the other day who used to live in Australia. And he was there when I was there and I was out with him. But the night I got arrested. And I says, what's the crack? Like, because, see, Dervla, Dervla's an Australian citizen. So oh, she was born, born in Australia, my missus. Like, so 
She wants to go back early for her honeymoon or whatever the fuck happened back in the future. Fuck, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Not paying that for me, man. Is that a warrant then for me? Yeah. All of Australia oh. has a chlamydia meeting. <laughs> oh. Well, so is, is Macomb allowed back yeah. in? Oh, we we'll take it up a, with the chlamydia. We'll take it up with the chlamydia <laughs> meeting. With the chlamydia. <laughs> oh, fuck. And then... I was like, what's the crack can you pack? And he's like, oh, I fuck shit. Yeah, it's my mate, Thomas. He's like, oh, I fuck shit. That's why I find just find a different state. And then just drive up or drive up there. It's no sweat. I fuck shit. I was fuck shit. <laughs> so there was, I have about a fucking hundred fucking car fines for parking, for speeding, for everything. That's a reliable source I mean, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, what do you mean? Here he was. <laughs> I'll tell you a story here. was, oh, straight as a dialect here. was, oh, fuck, she got over fortunate. It was last time I checked, like it was 250 grand. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why did they not come and race you for her? It was, well, got to the stage where they were torturing me for ladders and ladders and were wrapping the door on the apartment. He's like, and then I just went right, re unregistered the car, sold it, got a new car. And one day I was on Facebook and someone put a photo up of someone on those uh, license saying they lost it. They say the slums or something. And he went, fuck, I know who that is. So he screenshotted the message. He screenshotted the photo of the license, went and got it printed out, oh, and gave all them details to buy a new car, and to get it fucking registered for insurance. And then he registered that same name and that same, uh, the same name and the same license to his home address, so that all the letters would go to his house in Australia, Melbourne. Um, and he got a new car in it, and he says the last time he checked with him, he was 75 grand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's, fuck, he's like, he's like, they're fucking blues over in Australia. They're fucking easy. He's like, <laughs> he said, he said, he said, he said see, see if they had all the money. See if they got all the money. They rode for friends from Irish people alone. And that's the only people I know out there. To be the richest company in the fucking world. <laughs> Oh, so I'll stay, stay away, but as you say, he's not a reliable source. <laughs> they, they get what they're fucking given. Uh, <laughs> the penal column, so <laughs> they're, they're going to get all the fucking. Even when I was over an Australian fellow, he was saying, "Oh yeah, I've got a, I've got a big tax bill. I'm not fucking paying it. I, get, I keep getting the letters that I'm not fucking paying it. So what what happens over here if you don't pay? Uh, fucking go to jail. I don't mind. It's fucking." Six months to get a break, get a break from the farm. <laughs> so it must be no one's paying uh, the bills. No one's paying them. It's, it's going on, no one. The bad's a fucking. It's known as. The, is, what's it called? Down under, is it? Right. It's fucking going on there, I'll tell you that. It's fucking going under the fucking. Snap your fuck. Fucking growing clangatats. Oh, fuck shit. But some spot, like, see, uh. Because I never thought I would ever. Be either. Nah, that's the next thing I was here, I was like, I'm walking the streets. The trigger of Sean McComb rigged havoc on. Rigged havoc. <laughs> the same streets. Man, it's possible. It when you tell me, but it was at all, everything went down in Sin City, Nick. So anyone who I talked to, I was going, What's that Sin City like? And they were all saying, Oh, yeah, it's not a club around there. But they were saying it's like, the way they described it would be like, the Beats Club or something. Aww. That's the way, you no, know, mm-hmm. the way they can describe them. And is it, is it close to here? It's just round there. It's just round there. So I went round and made a pilgrimage just to mm. light a candle for Sean. He, he went and tracks. got drinks. He was sending videos of it, but he was in there. Uh, and I was going, stay out of it. <laughs> Fucking trailer, stay. <laughs> Bouncers came and grabbed me. What do you know about Sean McCall? <laughs> Tell me I am. <laughs> Tell me I am. Take it up with a chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear what a chlamydia means. Fuck's <laughs> listen. Fuck's sake. Do you reckon you could live with it? Nah, I don't think so. Like, it's not for me. It's just it's too far away. Too man. fucking far away for starters. And then, I, not, I don't get homesick or nothing like that though, but... It's just a map to know how far away you are. I know, they're just fucking... Nuts. I don't know, students are weirdos. Like, they're weird bastards. See when I got a, see when I got arrested and I got banned, right? So I, I got the CCTV, which was a fucking nightmare trying to get, but I got it eventually. See when they seen that I was innocent, <coughs> I was still barred because it's an electronic system. So when you go into nightclubs, you have to scan in after a certain time, 8 p.m. You have to scan in with a, an ID, so you're on their system. It's a whole system of Brisbane. It's not just Gold Coast, it's a whole of Brisbane. So when I got unbarred, like physically, like by right, the, the, the stuff, cops yeah. and by everyone else and, and Gold Coast and service parties, I still couldn't scan in the nightclub. So when I was scanning my passport, the owner was like, no, nah, mate, not getting in. I was like, mate, 
So I had to pull out this fucking letter from a chief, like a chief constable and be like, look. And they were like, nah, mate. I'm allowed in the peace club by royal decree. Uh -huh. <laughs> so what happened then was, it's fuck, this is weird. This is when he come back to me. I had to go down. Like, I had another 10 days out there on holiday that I paid for myself. So I was like, this is fucking shit. I can't get nowhere. And everywhere, my night was over at 8 o'clock every night because I couldn't get in any rough street. Can't get in the restaurant. So I went down. The, That's the way it was. See, when I saw my ID, a wee photo was coming up me sitting like that, black in the cell, her rack. <laughs> So I went down to the service party. So I was like, can I speak to this chief constable? So, so she signed the letter for me. I was like, this isn't working. He's like, oh, yeah, see what happens is you're going to be on our system for another 10 days. And he's like, I know, but I've got a letter to say it's not like it was, it was a misunderstanding. He's like, yeah, but they don't care. They go by the system. It's controlled in Brisbane. We have no control over here. I was like, so what the fuck am I supposed to do now? I'm fucking here for the next 10 days. And he was like, look, anytime you're going out after the PM, come down here and we'll escort you in. So I had to be escorted in the fucking day club. Every every night for ten nights by the people, cops people and cops were looking at me like, like, a, like a friggin' international like delegate or something like a titan. He's a titan. <laughs> He's a titan. Fuck, thank, thank God it wasn't Belfast. Fuck, he got a kneecap. <laughs> Talk away. Got a not got a kneecap. Talk away. I fucking rat right there. Look, what are you doing, man? Well, but the party they would think it's somebody important. I know. Not that you're not. But important, I was but looking like, at people were looking like, but they were like not like. like at me on a friendly, they were like, what the fuck is she at? They had to come in and explain the bar staff, explain the doormen and all. Then the rest of the night, you're on edge. Because the doormen were fucking staring yeah. at you and going, as cons ready to start. Can't I got up to sing karaoke. Yeah. I was Stop black me. singing UB40, <laughs> Kingston Town, and the doormen were like, watching. I was like, what the fuck were they watching me? You know, and I started getting nervous and all, missing my words. And then I was like, <laughs> fuck, fuck this. And then I get up again. So, sort of rained it to me because I was scared to move, I was scared to dance. Yeah. It's got to be the real. He's at it again. What's that? The real guy. Oh, he's running on the toilet. He's like, ah, oh, get him. Oh, he's, he's taking oh, no. the, he's taking the <laughs> feet down. <laughs> get down. Oh, he's like, relax. He's running on the toilet. Oh, he's like, he's like, he's shimmy. No, he's shimmy on the radio toilet. Rugby tackle from my hand. Fucking pin the ground. Oh, my back. Oh, my back. Why in my back? Oh, my back! Oh, fuck, sick! Like, the other teams, friggin', when I was there, they all, like, thought I was Simone or thought I was an And then all, like, Simone fellas kept, like, greeting me. I was on the scene. Just we know. Come on, shake my hand, though. Yeah, I was like, oh, no, <laughs> Yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the hugger on the dance floor. Ah. Does he? Fuck, I'm ill. Which are we one more call? Come in that last place. Come in that last It's good at it's bad, but like, the thing about it, it's just so far to get to. Like, see when you went, obviously you went with Kamath. Did you just have, like, standard seating, or did that get the, like... Standard seating, but they were good anyway, because uh, we, we flew from... I think we flew from Dublin to Doha. And then we had like a three or four hour wait in Doha. And then flew from Doha straight to, to Australia. And I was dreading because I shit fucking, I'm shit traveling. I can't really sleep around my flights. 15 hours? 15 hours. It was 14 and a bit hours at the time. And the flight from Dublin to Doha was only seven or eight hours. But it was yeah. well worse. Yeah. I couldn't sleep. Seeing I got on that flight from Doha to Australia, fuck, I felt like a tablet head. I was out like a light every waking up trying to get dinner. I was like, I couldn't even like wake myself up to eat when we were bringing the dinner in order. And I was like, fuck me, I think I took two buds or three yellows. I was sitting there like that, fucking turning in a ring. I was like, Jesus Christ. And on the way home was a nightmare. I got stuck with some France fella right, right next to me in the middle of the seat. Come on, that. He walked in, bought the fucking, uh, he had these headphones on, he had a bottle of. Jack Daniels and he was black and he was drinking. And I always t tell Marty Horror stories, it's just something similar happened to him. He's like, and the woman was like, Oh, you can't drink. And I was like, No, no, he's not. not. And I was like, No, no, no. And I was here, shit. He's trying to drink Jack Daniels. He's like, You can't open that on the flight. You can't open the flight. He's like, Okay, right. can I buy some? Uh, yeah. I was like, Can I buy some? He's like, Yes, yes, we'll be around a month. Oh, like he's got a bottle from Joey uh, Free. Or... So she bought him, she gave him the fucking hang. He had, had this rock music on his, in his earphones and she gave him the, the whiskey and he was drinking the whiskey and all. And then he got another one then sort of stopped coming up and down for a wee bit and all and then he just started cracking his own bottle open and the next time he was black and I just <laughs> 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 
an invisible guitar. I was saying, and I was like, fuck, shit. I was shutting my out and I was clenching my head on it. And I was just on edge. And then the next thing, I was like, oh, I started dozing off and I made me fuck. Sleeping. The next thing, I felt was bang, bang. I was like, what the fuck? Get off of you fucking weirdo. He's like, ah. He didn't know where he was. I locked down in his bag a full empty bottle of Jack Daniels. I was like, no fucking way. Look at my phone. It was like two hours and ten minutes later. And he was juiced. And you want to smell Jeez. the drink. Yes, come on. Was, his head just kept wobbling about. And the music was still going on. And I was like, fuck. And it was like, still fucking like 12 hours ago. To get frustrated at Doha. I was like, fuck. In fact, we didn't even Doha. We flew to Abu Dhabi on the way home. And he was just talking the whole <coughs> flight. He was like, oh. And I was like, at the whole flight, I said, I got. So he couldn't get on to me. I was pushing him over the horse and he was like, oh. I can't, I was going, fuck, I'm going to batter him. It's the worst player in my life. Like, should have just battered him. Would have been easier. See, so coming back, I had done that same flight. We flew Brisbane to Sydney, Sydney to Doha. So it was like an hour and a half from Brisbane to Sydney. Oh. And then 15 hours from Sydney to the Doha. I 15 hours from Sydney to Doha. Doha. That's Doha's guitar, isn't it? Oh, guitar, aye. And um, <laughs> if somebody lots up beside me, Adam from from Carrick, and uh, he goes, yeah, either he either Rangers or something. So I knew he was. I knew he was from from Belfast. Isn't that mad? Either Rangers or something. So I knew he was from, from Belfast. Scotland. He coming yeah. from Scotland. But uh, he was. I know your face. Do you do a podcast? Uh, do I? He says, I seen you on Shane Tall. So I made West Ham wait. Subscribe. Subscribe, man. But uh, me and him was talking in, and then they come down, and they says, do you want a drink? Uh, do I get a vodka and coke? And uh, he, he he wasn't going to drink. He said to me, you drinking? And I went, he said, no, you're not drinking. And then she went, do you want it? I'll give a vodka and coke. And they went, Oh well, fuck it, give me one too. And then so me and him was drinking on the way home. But he was getting he was getting more drunk than me, because he's smaller than me, I was. Mm. And then we got the um Doha. We, we got the no, I got the Doha and then we got the Dublin. When we got <coughs> the Dublin, he was like, Yeah, we'll go for a paint here and um in the airport and I was like, Oh I've me and him went down and was having paint. And then he was like, That's right, you try to stop me for lift, didn't you? Aye, mama. He was going to get me hanging about the cons cover paints. No, he's going to tell me you think I'm with the boot. Bring me Adam up, is there? Bring me Adam up, he's saying. <laughs> stop me for lift. Just drop me. I'll get you on sweat. <laughs> let me just let me know when you land. I taxed him. Have you landed yet? Didn't tax back. Oh, I, I was hanging la- lingering about. On the flip, didn't tax back. No way. Fair anything? For 40 minutes. My pal, you should not have him in the bar drinking. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking cop. But, uh, me and him was drinking that, and then the, the, the bus wasn't... Sean did this, and then the bus wasn't coming Adam, for a wee bit. Carrick, you get that and, to uh, Carrick, <laughs> no chance. And uh, he was like, wait, I'm going to book this bus. And uh, I ran out and I says, look, you have you can't book it. You can't book the bus on in, and it was case only. So me and him was drinking pints, and then he went down. It's means case only, he went red, he went away. I thought he was going to the bank machine. So you might come back and he went, here, yeah. well, we'll just get the later bus. And he's like, Adam, I don't even know you. <laughs> I have to get home to my wife and kids. I'm not, I'm not putting my neck on the lane <laughs> for a stranger. <laughs> and uh, he's been, oh, we'll just, we'll get the next one. You can stay if you want, but I'm, I'm get the next one. And I'm right, fuck it, I'll get it, baby. So we went, got the bus. I, had to, I thought, this is how long it is since I got the bus. I thought it wouldn't have been more than 15 euros. Because that was what you three, isn't it? No, 15 euros. Uh, but 15, I think last time I got one was like 17. Oh, I saw it was... It, it was, used to be 22 return. Oh, I, so I didn't... I was like, <coughs> I'll keep 15 euros for the bus. And then it was, it was 17. Oh, I was 17 euros. And I went, fuck, I'm going to get 15. I've got my card. And I was like, nah. And uh, I said, can you wait? I'll just run the bank machine then. And he was like, no, I'm not waiting. And a, a guard at the front said, here's two euro. And I went, oh, thanks very much. And then your email, Adam, didn't have any any cash. And I went, where's your cash? 
I'm going on this with the third one. They're bank machine. I'm going on toilet. I said, fuck sex. Yeah. And then, um, he says, do you really go? No, he gave me the two euros. <laughs> I'm the fucking man. <laughs> he goes, he says, oh, hey, will you let me 20 euro and I'll bank transfer it? And she went, nah. And fuck this thing. Hard luck. <laughs> he went, <laughs> <laughs> he went, are you going to leave me, you dick? And I went, I see how this fly up and spend the day with him traveling from Australia and drink those. And I said, you know what? We'll wait in the next one. And he went, nah, nah, it's all right. It's all right. Do you get it? But it was obviously like, it's just an empty gesture. And I went, oh, good man yourself. And then it said, oh, it's like a little link. It's a shadow. <laughs> oh, he doesn't know. Our friendship lasts a long time. But then he texted me, I left my bus. I left my bag on that bus. Will you grab it for me? And then... So I get off a bus when we got in the Belfast and he told he said, it was a grey rucksack. So I just got off, grabbed it, grabbed my own bags, and I was busting over a piss, <coughs> went in the bog, had a slice come out. Some fell down, hey, that's my bag. And I went, what? Oh, yeah, that's my bag. And I went, oh, mate, see, to be honest, this fellow who had just met, he told me he left his bag in the bus and he said it's everyone. He went, well, it's not, just took it. Oh, fuck, I look he like a dick man. He didn't believe me. I know. Oh, like, oh, I, 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 I look like a friggin' scumbag trying to steal a bag. And as I text him, send him a message on WhatsApp or on Instagram, I was like, Alan, some file said that was his. He's like, fuck, I mailed it. But I don't know if he was trying to just set me up for, for ditching him on the bus. But listen, he's new. He's new. But as Tyrone would say, we've talked enough shit for the day. So we're gonna finish off with the traditional smack one, blank one, or bad one, a dragon claw. So <coughs> Johnny, we're gonna give you the three names. And the first name we're gonna give you is English Rob. <laughs> Second name, <laughs> Bandy Neck. <laughs> What's this Tony one? Bandy Neck. Tony Bandy Neck. <laughs> And Alan from Carrie. And then, I uh, we Adam. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> so who do you think? Oh, right, I'm going to go with Tony Benignac to get a dragon claw. That's at least they want, man. No. You, you, you get whacked <laughs> for Nam. Um, blank English Rob, because he called me a toot. And I'll smack Adam for slapping a Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> so Adam, if you're watching. Watch yourself. Uh, the <laughs> That's a fair enough. That's fair, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Don't be slamming a Tommy, man. <laughs> and don't forget, folks, it just says at the start, August 9th at the Devonish Whiskey and Wade Live, James Nesbitt, Jamie Conlon, Michael Conlon, and John Connors, they're the special guests. He's went the last one. It was good crack, so this time we're going bigger and better. We had three guests the last time, now we've got four. You know what I mean? So I'd be in the crowd this Sean time. Be in the I'd crowd. be in Jonathan from the crowd this time. Sean, you're no afraid it'll be over, so we'll have to yep. get you up for the drink, really. Oh, what's that? Me and Jonesy. Uh, Jonesy Bard. You'll be in the team. Him. I was a team. Fuck shit. And uh, listen, we're going to do turns left us a wee <coughs> Patreon task. So make sure you stick around. The loser of this Patreon has to do the cinnamon challenge. I hope I don't lose. So yeah. I have. Um, a very poor track record on Pigeon Sounds. Mm -hmm. So uh, make Don't sure you it. subscribe. It's two pound a month. <coughs> you get everything, all the crack and all the challenges and all that shit. So make sure you head over to Pigeon right now. Me and Tony Max doing the challenge. Thanks for viewing. Don't forget to get your tickets August 9th, Wednesday night, party fill. And we love you. Peace out. Keep it shot. <laughs>